We think that transient forgetting occurs for several different reasons. We may be working on something and have a memory in mind, and we get a telephone call, or we're interrupted by an individual. And that memory, the expression of that memory goes away for some period of time. We may be unable to recall that information even after the interruption disappears for some period of time, but then it comes back later, more or less spontaneously. Sometimes there will be a reminder, something you see, something you hear, that brings it back in, in, into your mind and allows you to accomplish the task, but very often it comes back in mind spontaneously. As scientists, we, we do not have access to the human brain, we can't access and, and understand the mechanisms underlying transient forgetting in the human brain. That's something for the future. So what we do is we use model systems, in this case, a, a simple fruit fly. We conditioned or trained the flies to associate an odor that was paired with an electric shock or negative stimulus. And what happens is that these flies will learn to associate that odor paired with a shock and later avoid that particular odor when presented to them later on. Now to model tip of the tongue state, we provided flies with interference stimuli or simple distractors that could cause them to have poor memory or decreased performance. So some of these external factors included airflow, strong gusts of wind, similar to what they might experience in nature. When we provided these external stimuli, the flies did not perform as well as control animals. And what was even more exciting is that the flies later on, after a certain amount of period, the memory returned to normal levels. In addition, we did this experimentally in an artificial way by training the animals, and just prior to uh, asking them to retrieve, we stimulated artificially this single pair of dopamine neurons, and that caused transient forgetting. And that way, we were able to map transient forgetting to the single pair of dopamine neurons that caused transient forgetting. Human memories reside in many, many different parts of the brain. So for example, our experiences, our everyday experiences and our lifetime experiences, they are encoded and they basically live in an area called the medial temporal lobe, the hippocampus, and also the parts of the neocortex. cortex. Other kinds of memories, like visual memories, our ability to remember a visual cue, live in a different part of the brain, the visual cortex. Our auditory, our memories of what we hear, live in a different part. It's not clear yet whether transient forgetting mechanisms are going to be the same between different kinds of memories, visual memories, auditory memories, or experiential memories, or whether they'll be different. But nevertheless, our work with the fruit fly has given us a handle that says that there are dopamine neurons in this model organism. And there's a very, very high probability, given the conservation biology and mechanisms for learning and memory, even from small worms that people study called C. elegans, through fruit flies, through the mouse, the rat, the non-human primate, to humans, there is a very, very high probability that dopamine neurons will be involved in some aspect of transient forgetting in the human brain.